Hey everybody, I got a quick video here. Uh, I just had an experience that I just wanted to share with you. And it goes to the fact that when you buy that firearm, whether it's the first firearm, particularly if it's your first firearm, or you're buying another firearm, you've already got who knows how many. Nonetheless, when you buy that firearm, you wanna go with a reputable manufacturer, one that's gonna have your back, okay? I am a Sig Sauer devotee. The first gun I bought was a 229C. 229 compact. Well, I upgraded that firearm to a 229 Legion, double action, right? Love that gun. I've had I bought that gun, I want to say mid-2018. And here it is, 2022. I've shot so many rounds through that gun. Uh last time I shot the gun, the as you can see on the right grip panel. The Legion, what makes them so beautiful, ladies and gentlemen, so beautiful, is that they have this, I'm going to call it a medallion. That's just one of the things about it. There's a medallion in the grips. It gives you that that Legion bona fide, bona fide how do you pronounce that, bona fide, bona fide, right there. So I was shooting this last weekend at the range, and unbelievably, the medallion popped out, right? Now, I got pissed and all that, and... My guy told me, hey, man, you know, you shoot, how many rounds have you shot through that gun? That's, you know, every time you press that trigger, that's a high, you know, it's an impact explosion that happens in here, right? So it vibrates the gun. It happens. And so I calmed down. I was like, yeah, you're right. You're right. So I called SIG and I said, hey, what do I got to do to get a new medallion? Well, they said, well, we don't ship those out. What we would have to do, what they'd have to do is replace the entire grip panel, okay? So um, we went back and forth. Uh, I was busy. I had to go on the road. Uh, they were going to send me some some information I had to fill out or some stuff I had to fill out. I uh, reached out again. I said, hey, you know what? I filled out that information. I hadn't heard anything. And they were like, oh, okay, uh, cool. We'll take care of you. I spoke to a guy named, I think his name was Andy. Um, I apologize. I don't have his name right if I don't have his name right, but he was really cool. Uh, he said, well, what, it, what I'd have to do is they can't send out the medallion that, like I said, they have to replace the entire grip panel and they had them in stock. So he told me uh, what I have to do is send both of these panels. So I said, let me ask you, do I have to send both of them to you? And he said, yeah, we only trade them up for a pair. So, okay, cool. Uh, Andy, hopefully that's his name. He sent me uh, an RMA number and a FedEx label because I asked him, hey, uh, if I want to get this right back as soon as possible so I can start carrying this gun again, um, can, if, I, if I'm willing to pay for FedEx, will you FedEx them to me? He said, dude, we're going to FedEx them anyway. It's not going to cost you a, a dime. Okay? It's not going to cost me anything to send these grip panels out. And they're going to ship new ones back to me via FedEx both ways. And I'm, it's not going to cost me a dime. That is what we call customer service, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I will say this. For what I paid for this gun, I'm glad that they have that level of customer service. Okay? I will recount another story. When I first bought the gun, let's say within, let's say 2019. I think I bought this in 2018. So 2019. I noticed that the slide, this is not the slide that came with it. Uh, I bought this slide because it had the Romeo 1 Pro attached to it. I bought the slide with the Romeo 1 Pro attached to it back in April of this year when I went up to Six Hour Academy. But prior to that, I had, another, I had the original slide on it, and I noticed when I was racking it back, it felt kind of mushy. It didn't, I didn't feel that crispness. I think I, uh, there's a video that I put on YouTube back then talking about shipping the gun back. So I had that happen, and um, they suspected, I called them up, they suspected that it was a bad uh, uh, guide spring, right? So they said, listen, just ship that back to us, and we'll take care of it. I said, how much is it going to cost me? Not going to cost you anything, really. He said, well, if you've had the gun for less than a year, we won't charge you anything for it. I was like, ah, I've had the gun for a year and three months. He said, right, don't worry about it. Just ship it to us. We'll pay for the shipping. Just ship it to us. We'll take care of you. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what you want when you're looking for a gun. Don't just say, oh, that's a pretty gun. It's a cool gun. Check the manufacturer. Make sure it's reputable. 
If you haven't heard of the manufacturer, that could be your first clue that it's not a gun you want to buy. Now, let me be fair. When I first started, I'd never heard of Six Hour. The only gun manufacturer I'd heard of, I'd heard of Colt, Glock, Smith & Wesson, right? But if you are taking a gun class and you just ask your instructor, what guns do you recommend? You're going to hear Six Hour. You're going to hear Colt. You're going to hear Smith & Wesson. You're going to hear uh, Springfield. You're going to hear CZ. You're going to hear H&K, okay? These are guns that have stood the test of time. Now, I can't speak to the uh, service or the customer service for any of those other manufacturers, but I'm going to tell you one thing. If you can afford to get yourself a Sig Sauer, get yourself a Sig Sauer. I'm sure you can find them used in gun shops, right? Brand new, this is not going to cost you an insignificant amount of money. But like the 365, the 365 XL, you're talking about maybe anywhere from $500 to $600. If you are planning on buying a gun to defend yourself and you want to entrust your life with it, $600 is nothing to spend on a tool that could get you home safely to your family and your loved ones. And I highly recommend Six Hour, if nothing else, for the customer service they continue to provide. All right, that's all I got, ladies and gentlemen. Happy gun shopping. Listen, if you're a student of mine and you and you still haven't bought that gun, please give me a call or hit me up. I can offer you suggestions. I want to say six hour, but if you can't afford a six hour, I got you. I can get you get you some other suggestions. We're gonna get a gun in your hands, okay? All right, guys. Safe training. Happy gun shopping. Take care.